I'm Cher Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is Gavin Lloyden, the Managing Director for QEM. Gavin, it's great to see you again. How are you? I'm fantastic, Shay, and uh, thanks for having us again. Thrilled to have you on, and we're both in a quieter environment this time. No conferences happening in the background for each of us. Uh, and I'm glad you could be here because you have a very interesting project in the northwest of Queensland. Um, first of all, I want to go through. I want to start with the basics, and that is, what commodities do you have? Well, we've got a very unique uh, resource base. So we're in an oil shale unit out there in Julia Creek, uh, and that gives us the flexibility to look at two distinct product streams, uh, one being uh, oil for transport fuels, and our objective there is, is uh, diesel, uh, and secondly, and, and very importantly, vanadium pentoxide or vanadium, uh, which we'll use in redox flow batteries. We're going to get into the weeds of the use of high purity vanadium later on. I want to know, because um, again, when people think of these commodities, they think of one as gaseous as one as sort of hard rock mineral. Which one of these would be the f uh, primary focus at present? Yeah, so um, it's, it's really a combination of those two product streams. Um, because this material is quite unique in the sense that it does have uh, both, both products available to us. Um, but it's an above ground process. This is a sedimentary deposit. So it's a, an ancient lay down of, of algal blooms from what used to be an inland sea. So it's very soft uh, material um, and it's, it, it's shallow. So this is what they call the, the fresh rock. Now, if you were to, it breaks the surface near Julia Creek at a place uh, called the St Elmo's outcrop. And if you track that same material all the way down to South Australia where it's under natural heat and pressure, it'll become actual oil and gas. So this is what they call the fresh material. This is very exciting for me. Um, okay, before I, before we get into the geology, which is I think going to be my favourite part of today's conversation, um, how do you progress both assets when essentially they've both got very different end uses? Uh, well, it, it, it comes down to the processing that, that we're doing. So. What we start out with is about a 5.1 million ROM feed. Uh, that is then beneficiated to the point where we end up with two concentrates, an oil concentrate stream and a vanadium concentrate stream. Uh, and they're processed in two different, two different methods. So one is that, that concentrate goes to an oil circuit uh, and the solids go to another flotation process where the vanadium is concentrated and, and extracted. Um, tell me, is this type of deposit unique to Australia? Because this has got to be one of the first times I've come across it in my career. It, it, it is unique to Australia uh, uh, to the extent that we see it here. Um, there are other locations, Estonia, uh, Morocco, um, uh, Israel. There's a number of places in the Middle East where this is, occurs because vanadium often is found and almost uh, entirely always found uh, in heavy crude oils. So if you think of the way that was produced... Um, it's that shale under heat and pressure which extracts the oil and the gas. Uh, we're just doing that process above ground. It's a simple uh, recreation of, of, of a natural uh, formation of oil. Well, I've learned something today, but before we go, uh, can you explain why vanadium is important to the Australian economy? Well, particularly here in Australia, because the vanadium that we're producing is going to be a 99.5 plus purity, uh, with a focus then for energy storage systems. And, and the vanadium redox flow battery was a, you know, an Australian invention uh, having its 40th anniversary this year, as it turns out, so it's not new, it's not novel, it's been in commercial operation for about 20 years. Uh, and we need these things uh, for the grid. So we need energy storage solutions. We've got plenty of generation through renewables, but we need to store that energy so that we can time shift solar energy from the day into more usable times of the evening, breakfast, uh, evening times when the, uh, you're home from work and the kids are home from school, that's when we're using more energy. During the day, everyone's away. So we're not using as much energy during the day, but we need to time shift that. And that's what vanadium redox flow batteries allow us to do. Um, we've got 31% of the global resource here, but we haven't produced that material uh, on commercial scale yet. But uh, it's certainly going to happen very shortly. Uh, Gavin, all right, we have unfortunately run out of time, but you can bet that I will absolutely be getting you back on so we can talk about, A, that this is an Australian invention and B, that this is not new technology and it's been around for a couple of decades. Thank you so much for being here today. This has been really informative. Absolute pleasure. Look forward to speaking to you next time, Shane.